Hello everybody, I welcome you all to today's video. This video is a must watch if you are from the agriculture background, right? Because today we are going to see how to become a scientist in ICRI SAT. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. And come, let's start the topic. So ICRA SAT stands for International Crop Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics, right? So this is basically a non-profit and non-political organization. It mainly focuses on agriculture research, right? Especially in the Asian and Sub-Saharan Africa. So it basically, um, you know, constitutes in 55 countries. They are conducting research in 55 different countries, especially uh, panning uh, throughout Asia as well as Sub-Saharan Africa. Now, what do these, uh, what do, what does this research organization basically do? They <clears throat> help the disadvantaged population to overcome poverty, hunger and degraded environment. So this is their main motive, vision and mission, right? So they basically create agricultural productive systems so that the, you know, the disadvantaged groups can come out of poverty, hunger and degraded environment. Their main headquarters is in Hyderabad, India. Now, what are the different research uh, areas that they focus on? So basically, th these are the crops that uh, this particular research institute uh, focuses. The first is the chickpea, pigeon pea, groundnut, sorghum, pearl millet as well as finger millet. Now, what is the reason for cho choosing these groups, uh, these crops is because they are all from tropical dry land, right? Where especially the resources are poor, there's a lot of, you know, possibility of getting drought and everything. So, the resource as well as the people over there are poor and these are the different types of uh, crops that they basically, uh, you know, they basically grow. So that is the reason this institute focuses on these crops. Now, what are these crops good for? Why these crops are important for research is because they are regarded as smart food. Now, why smart food? First, because it is good for you, basically the consumers, right? It's good for consumers because it is highly nutritious, right? And it is also good for the planet because they have a very low carbon footprint as well as low water footprint. So that is the reason it is regarded as very good for the planet. And it's also good for the smallholder farmers. That is because these, because these uh, crops, they have to grow in a very, you uh, know, less land as well as the amount of resources that they need is also minimal, right? So minimum resources are necessary. So that is the reason these crops are also called as smart food. Now, what does this particular institution do? So they are uh, focused on conserving, on conserving these crops, analyzing, breeding, breeding and farm management practices. They also uh, do research on processing of these food as well as bringing agribusiness opportunities to these farmers, especially the poor farmers, so that they can value add, go for food processing, etc. so that they can earn more money through this agribusiness opportunities. Now, what, uh, so these, uh, the ICRI SAT also uh, helps in focusing on the SDG, that is Sustainable Development Goals. So what are the different SDGs that this particular institute focuses on? First is no poverty, the first one, no poverty. Second, that is zero hunger. Third is good health and well-being. Fourth, quality education. Fifth, gender equality. Sixth, the clean water and sanitation. Seventh is affordable and clean energy. Eighth is decent work and economic growth. Ninth is industry, innovation and infrastructure. Ten, reduced inequalities. The eleventh, that is sustainable cities and communities. The twelfth, that is responsible consumption and production. 
13th that is climate action 15 that is life on land 16 peace justice and strong institution as well as 17 that is partnership for the goals so these are the different points of sdg that icri sat focuses on and they uh, you know uh, really work hard to uh, go and achieve these points Next, what are the research projects that happens in ICRI SAT, right? So the first is cell and molecular biology and trait engineering. Second is crop breeding. Third is crop physiology and modeling. Fourth is crop protection and the seed health, the gene bank, the genomics, pre-breeding and bioinformatics, as well as the seed systems. So these are the different research projects that happens at ICRI SAT, especially in all of these research institutes that is also being uh, mentioned already. Next, what are the India specific research that happens in ICRI SAT? We already saw that the headquarters of ICRI SAT is in Hyderabad. So they have multiple research units in India itself that focuses on research. So what are the different research topics or research themes that ICRI SAT focuses in India is the crop improvement operations team. So this is one of the team that helps in improving the crop operations. Second is precision phenotyping for biotic and abiotic stresses and nutrition. The third is sequencing and genomic services. Next is rapid generation advancement, right, using bioscience techniques. The farm and engineering services as well as data management and analytical support. So these are the different supports and different research that happens at ICRI SAT India. Now, having talked about all of these researchers, now what is the positions that are available at ICRI SAT and whether you will be eligible or qualified to apply for these positions? That's what we're going to see. First is the scientist position at ICRI SAT. So this needs a PhD in any of these uh, background that is pathology, botany, genetics, breeding or any other relevant discipline. And they also require a four years of post PhD experience. So the scientist position as well is different for different uh, type of research that happens. For example, is it rice genome or is it pathology, etc. Right. So according to what uh, the you know, scientist position is, accordingly your background in PhD as well as your experience counts. The second position that we are going to talk about is the scientific officer. So a scientific officer is somebody who collects high quality data sets, who trains the farmers and uh, about the farm facilitators, right, and also records scientific data. Now for this particular scientific uh, uh, officer, you need a master's degree in agricultural engineering, agronomy or agroforestry. So these are the different um, uh, different backgrounds from which you can be if you want to be a scientific officer. So uh, there are a few um, positions in ICRI SAT that requires, um, you know, experience and a few position that does not require uh, experience. Most of the senior positions like the ones that you need to go after your PhD, they require experience, but a few other positions like scientific officer, they do not require experience. Next is post harvest specialist at, I, at ICRI SAT. So here you need to have a PhD in post harvest technology, horticulture, agriculture, food science or agriculture engineering. And as I already mentioned, this is a senior position. So you need three to five years of experience in agriculture development project management. Now, there are also other positions at ICRI SAT. One is the associate scientist resident consultant. So these two are also for post PhD, post PhD positions plus experience. However, these two positions are uh, before uh, PhD, that is it does not require a PhD, that is field assistant and research technician and they don't require experience as well. So if you are a fresher and you want to en enter this particular institute and see what research is going on, if you want to be a part of ICRI SAT, then yes, you can go ahead and apply for these specific positions. 
Now, so Biotechnica is a space where you can have a one-stop solution for all of these. You don't have to jump from one job portal to another in search of where to apply and how to apply. Biotechnica is a space where you can just go and it's a one-stop solution for all those bioscience researchers, bioscience students out there. So yes, go ahead and apply for this particular position at ICRI SAT. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure it was super helpful for all those people who are from agriculture background. See you all until next video. Bye.